Kaman 2021 is available for download and if you're watching my channel regularly, especially the videos about calibration and settings on my LG ZX, you should know that I was not the biggest fan of Kaman. Was. Because with the latest version of Kaman, Kaman 2021 and the latest release, the latest download, I'm actually really impressed from the software because finally it looks like it's working as it should be. And don't get me wrong, it can be of course a combination between new software and new firmware on the LG ZX or maybe it's just the ZX firmware or maybe it's just the software, I have no idea. But for me as an end user, it is really just important that finally I can use auto calibration without any hiccups. Okay, and in today's video, I walk you through an auto calibration with Kalman and with my LG ZX and we are calibrating the gaming HDR mode because in my opinion, this is the gaming mode, oh, the mode what is necessary to calibrate because it's really, uh, the out of the box setting is very, very bad. Let's say it like this, okay? Gaming SDR is really very, very nice on my LG ZX, but gaming HDR is completely wrong, okay? So we're starting from the very beginning and I walk you through and I hope I'm not doing anything wrong, but if you see me doing anything wrong, just put it in the comments, okay? Because I'm just showing you how I calibrated my LG ZX in gaming HDR and it was really a very nice result at the end. So, but again, maybe I'm missing a tick box or whatever, just put it in the comments, okay? Now we're starting. Okay, and the first thing what we have to do is actually put our LG or our TV in the mode what we like to calibrate. In my case, it is gaming HDR. So this uh, TV is running in HDR at the moment. We can have a quick look here. Yeah, BT 2020 HDR, perfect. I'm using the PlayStation 5 for uh, simulating HDR. So again, it is very important that you use the right mode or yeah, what you like to calibrate, okay? For HDR, you need to have HDR material. For Dolby Vision, you need to have Dolby Vision material and so on, okay? So in this case, again, we are using HDR gaming mode. So we are starting Kalman and um, usually I'm using uh, Kalman for, Kalman is uh, connecting uh, or auto connecting to all the uh, equipment uh, like the meter and uh, source and uh, display um, control. But in this case, I, actually start from zero to show you exactly what I'm doing, okay? Okay, and the first thing what we have to do is we have to connect to our display, to our display control, and of course to our meter. So my meter is already connected. I tick this box that it's auto-connected every time when I start up Kalman, and usually I'm connecting automatically to the source and display control as well. But let's start with this one. We have here on the top our source. We're going to source and we're going to find source and we have LG of course, and me using the 2020, 2021 Alpha 9. Oh my God, what a hard word. And we putting in our IP address. And if you don't know where to find the IP address, this is actually under network settings on your TV, okay? And we pressing connect. What now is happening, um, Carmen is connecting to the TV and for safety reason or security reason, it will ask for a Pin and we putting the pin in and we pressing OK. It takes a couple of seconds and we are actually connected with our or to our LG. Now we have also we need to connect to our di display control. That uh, means that auto calibration can actually handle our TV. Okay, so we do we go to find display. We go to LG is already pre-select and also we using 2020 Alpha 9. So. Also, we put in our IP address, pressing connect. This time it hasn't, uh, there's no, yeah, no reason to ask anymore for the uh, security um, number because it's already done. Take some time and after this is connected, we are actually almost good to go. And of course, we are not good to go. This was just a joke because there are a million of little settings what you have to do before you actually can press calibration. But anyway, I walk you through and the first thing, what I always see, even we are in HDR mode at the moment, or we started with the HDR mode, uh, our display is actually set to SDR cinema. And this is the first thing what I'm always changing. I'm going back to the mode, and in this case, HDR game, what was set before, okay? So you can see the pictures changed again. Uh, not sure why the 
software is not uh, detecting this, it will always start, at my, in my case, with SDR cinema. So I'm always also changing this to HDR, press next, and now we are here in the main screen. So the color space should be actually changed in a couple of seconds to uh, REC 2020, but let's have a look on the overall, uh, here, it already changed, REC 2020, that's good. So it looks like he recognized that we actually in HDR. So meter is connected. In my case, I'm using the iDisplay I Pro. Oh, no, I, I don't remember the name. Anyway, it doesn't matter. X-Rate iDisplay Pro. That's, that's the right name. And you have to use, uh, if you're calibrating an LG OLED TV, CX and so on, you have to use RW, RAW uh, XYZ, generic CMF, okay? If you use um, OLED, uh, OLED RGB, it will be completely wrong. You will end up with a very greenish picture because um, it will just uh, not measure the, uh, the, the reddish tone correctly, okay? So use RAW, -R but it's really hard for a German one because W is not W in German, it's W, okay, W, okay, anyway, uh, R, A, W, X, Y, Z, okay, you have to use this. And also, what I found is um, with the 2020 version of Karman, I had very bad results when it comes to Windows 10% uh, okay, pattern. So what I learned is I was going to use Windows 2% um, uh, pattern. Um, because first of all, between the color and the white point, there shouldn't be any difference because white is white, red is red and so on. It doesn't matter how big uh, the pattern is actually. The only difference can be, of course, in the um, maximum peak brightness or the gamma, okay? This can be a, a difference, but again, I didn't find any difference between 2% and 10%, okay? So I'm using 2% calibration window you can use 10%, but I wouldn't go over 10% because at some point uh, the ABL will kick, kick in on the OLED, automatic brightness limiter, and you will have a wrong result, okay? So stay, bit, uh, stay under uh, 10%, okay? Um, we have here our color space, uh, which is correct, REC 2020 in this case, and our gamma formula ST2084 for HDR is also correct. Our white point is absolutely up to you. If you like to have a more reddish picture, you use D50 or D55. If you like to have a more bluish picture, D75, 93, whatever, or you use a custom white point. In my case, I'm using D65. I'm happy with this, okay? So we're moving on to the next page. Okay, so this page is the pre-calibration page where you do a, yeah, calibration measurement before and after so that you can compare actually. It is not mandatory to do it, but it's a really nice to have feature to actually see how it was before, how it was after the calibration, okay? But before we start, we have to talk about this little button here, or let's talk about the uh, three, uh, three little uh, option menus here on the top. So the first one is your meter setting and um, Meter is already connected automatically. The only thing what uh, maybe is important, and it's also it's up to you or it's, it's according to your meter. So for my meter, those settings are really uh, perfect. So standard exposure mode is one second and I'm using a low light handle um, for two seconds below five candela, okay? So that means the meter is actually measuring uh, two seconds instead of one second, okay? So with those settings, I have really, really good calibration results. So the next one, source setting, is very, very important because unfortunately, even now with the latest uh, Karman uh, software, if you're not changing this color space, if you're calibrating HDR from SDR to HDR 2020, you will end up with a wrong calibration, okay? Um, not that big, it's not a big difference, but uh, I found in HDR it's a little bit of a, of a yeah, full stop, it's wrong measurement, okay? So you have to change this if you're using HDR to HDR 2020, okay? Uh, you still can see here my window two person and this delay just means uh, the pattern will, de will be displayed on the picture and after 0.75 seconds uh, the meter will start to yeah, measure, okay? So that's all what this uh, number is saying here. And the next one is actually just what we had before uh, where we can actually change our display mode and uh, so we're not touching this at the moment, not this, not this and also full DC, the 
the C reset, we're not touching this as well at this very moment, okay? Now to this one, the settings, and there is something very, very important. So in the first uh, option menu, color space target and gamma formula should be exactly the same as in the main screen. Um, we're not touching here anything at this very moment, okay? Um, this would be, the video would be too long to explain everything of this uh, from, from this setting. So um, next one is workflow advanced options. Don't change anything. We always using the values what the meter is measuring. Uh, applic applic application measurement options. There's a very or two very important options actually because uh, Karma 2020 inserted this pattern level enable pattern insertion patch count based. It's a new feature and a very annoying feature by the way, but it's very, very important that you yeah, choose the right settings here. Okay, so why is this very important to set the right values here? So, um, full field pattern insertion is also a very difficult word. Anyway, so what we have here is actually um, the Kalman software will, uh, according to those settings, uh, display a full field pattern or uh, will change uh, the, the calibration menu to, the, to a different picture just to um, remember the TV not to automatically dim because what happened if you like this, if you display a picture like this for a very long time or for a normal long time, um, it will automatically start dimming the picture. This is just a normal behavior from the LG uh, CX because uh, for, to prevent burn in, okay? That's how it works, okay? So if you now have a 10% pattern for a very long time and you're measuring and measuring and measuring, it will dim the picture. And this is very bad because you're in the middle of um, calibration and you can't have this, okay? So what this option is doing from time to time or according to your setting, it will just display a full field pattern and it will wake up the TV again, okay? So very annoying feature because uh, if you forgot to set or forget to set the right values, it will it is absolutely annoying. And what I learned is, so I'm disabling this enable pattern insertion. This is a, a new feature, by the way. This wasn't in the 2020 version. This means after one, after one measurement, it will insert a pattern and then it will start again. So, and it is really annoying because the calibration takes so much longer and it, in my opinion, it's not really necessary. So what I learned or my experience is actually use the uh, enable pattern insertion time-based, uh, change this to 40 and uh, change this to two seconds. So every 40 seconds, it will display for two seconds and I'm changing this to 50%, a 50% full screen pattern. And this is, so far as I, can see more than enough to prevent any dimming from the panel. Okay, and the last thing what I changed in this menu was actually the Delta E formula from DE2000 to DE ITP, which gives you a little bit of a better um, color correction. Uh, but I have to say, of course, with my um, beginner color meter, maybe it's actually useless, okay? But um, yeah, I have no bad experience with this settings, so that's why I keep it, okay? So if we have done all of this stuff, we can actually try and we can uh, do a read series and then we can see how the display is performing before the calibration. And because we should do any calibration or measurement in a very, very dark room, I turned off my light and I hope you still can see me. So what is happening in the background right now, we are measuring really uh, the settings, what we what are the standard settings uh, inside the calibration menu and I wouldn't change it actually because it's it's really a very good uh, pre-setting in my opinion. We're measuring uh, um, the grayscale and also a couple of uh, secondary colors and main colors, which is a very good um, yeah result or very good uh, overview for comparing later on, okay? Um, I have to say we wouldn't see a big difference here in this case in my opinion because this game mode was already pre-calibrated, okay? So I haven't done any reset or whatever on this TV, so it should be actually a very good result even without another calibration, okay? So because I'm expecting this. But what I can see at the moment already is that the gamma level is not working at all. And this is very interesting. And this is... I will not delete this, I will keep this because we like to try now and find out what is actually going on here. 
because I was very, very sure that this will be perfect because this is actually what you can see here, this yellow line, this is not correct. The yellow line should be here where the, uh, the gray line is and then it would be, would be nice. So I don't know what is actually going on here. But that's life. That's life. Oh, no, it's not life. It's recorded. But anyway, it's life. We will find this out. Let me finish this and yeah, we will have a look. Okay, so I had a quick look on all the settings and I couldn't find anything wrong in the settings. So all what I told you, all what I told you before, it is actually really correct. And all what I have done now is, and just have a look on the screen again, I restarted this, the read series. So we're doing exactly the same as before. And as you can see now, our yellow um, yeah, um, marker is actually around the 700, 710 candle mark, which it's absolutely correct this time. I don't know what happened before when I pressed the button, but this is something what I, what I, I don't like it. You know what I mean? I really don't like it. And I tested this common software now for days and hours, really, really. And I haven't had this. It was perfect, but now I'm doing a video about this and now it's happened. This is actually very, very good because now you can see that you're struggling with a couple of bugs still in Kalman because I haven't changed anything. I haven't changed anything. I just pressed the button again and it worked now. And you can see it's much better the result. You don't have the perfect, uh, a very perfect gamma, but this is, it's a HDR. I was not expecting this to be very honest, but this is actually really, really good. And we are not just looking at the gamma. It's very important that the um, three colors, uh, green and blue and red, are really um, yeah, laying on each other. And we can't see barely any green or barely any red here, just the blue one, which is a very good result. 1.9 uh, delta arrow is not that great. I think it's the 95% here probably, which is a little bit out of, yeah, out of the line. But anyway, so far, this is our pre-calibration measurement. Okay, so again, this is our pre-calibration measurement and because my gaming HDR mode was already calibrated, we have this great result, okay? In your case, it will be completely wrong because I showed you this in my, in my last video, the factory settings is not very nice or the factory, the standard gaming HDR mode is not very nice calibrated out of the box. So next page and this time, um, there's not much what we need to consider. Um, the actually, uh, the Carmen is actually recommending uh, to do a full DDC reset. Um, I did a lot of, lot, lot of testing and I'm not quite sure why you should do this because I even I, I, I pressed the button or I, I didn't, it was the same result at the end, okay? So I haven't had any problem. And at this very moment, I don't want to press it because it will really, delete everything and it will also set um, my HDR settings back. And for the calibration and also, also for the pre-measurement, I was using HGIG. And again, I'm not 100% sure if this is the right way to go, but I have to say with HGIG enabled during the calibration, I have a very, very great result, a very, very great result. So I would not recommend, of course, to use dynamic tone mapping on because it will change the brightness according to the um, what is displayed on the picture. Um, there's, in my opinion, really just two options, dynamic tone mapping off or HGIG on. But because we have the option HGIG and we know what this option is doing, it will hard clip at the maximum brightness. I think this is really the right settings, okay? Anyway, um, not clicking this button um, because I don't want to lose my HGHI, uh, whatever settings and whatsoever, but it is recommended. So if you do this for the very first time, press the button and go next, okay? And then we have to enable calibration. I think when you press full DDC, whatever um, flash, then this is already enabled, okay? So next, and this is the main screen where we actually calibrate our display. Okay, and all what we have to do here is now is actually pressing auto call button in the right bottom corner and it will do two measurements in white and then it will come up with a little menu. And um, 
It will recommend you uh, in terms of HDR when you're calibrating HDR, LG 20 points HDR. You can also use the 42 point HDR calibration, which um, gives you a, a much better or yeah, more measuring points, of course. And at the end, maybe a better uh, calibration, maybe because it is not sure or I'm not really sure if this is really um, a better result at the end. Okay, So I keep it at uh, 20 points. And what I have learned in combination with my X-Rite um, calorimeter, Delta E target of 0 0.5 is it's, it's not the correct setting, okay? Because it can take you ages because the calorimeter or Kalman is trying to get a Delta E error below or maximum of 0 0.5. And in some cases it will not work. So it will try and try and try and try. So and it can really take ages. So what, what I learned is I'm changing this to one. And also the result at the end is almost the same. Just the time, how long does it take? It's with settings to one much, much quicker. It's much, much quicker, okay? But the result is not, it's almost the same in my opinion, okay? So repressing, of course, okay. And now we have to wait. Okay, and just 13 minutes later, we have our result already and we're pressing OK. And it's really a nice result, actually. The only thing what I don't like is 60 with a delta E error of 0 0.8, which is absolutely, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. So I can promise you, if you use a delta E error from 0 0.5 in the option menu, it will take half an hour, okay? but there will be not, not much difference in the result, okay? So that's what I experienced, okay? Anyway, we're pressing next button and now here's our color space and we do exactly the same. We're pressing our auto calibration function and then I will show you what I'm choosing because uh, you have a lot of options here and a lot of options which, <laughs> again, can take a lot of time. But in my opinion, and I tried almost all of this lightning LOT, which... Uh, takes a very long time because it's, it's uh, uh, measuring uh, a, a very a big variety of uh, colors and uh, the steps between the colors and uh, like, a, like a grayscale measurement just with colors. It takes really, really a, ve a very long time. Um, that's why I'm actually using just a matrix LOT measurement, which is measuring the primary colors and the secondary colors. And I'm pressing OK. And I have to say, there is almost no difference on my on my results between uh, yeah, a very long or lightning LOT measurement or this matrix LOT measurement. And of course, I have to say, this can be because I'm just using a, a X-Rite uh, One uh, Display Pro, a very, very, not a cheap one, but uh, it's not a high-end calorimeter, okay? So there, the better your equipment is, of course, the better you can actually do a, a calibration, okay? But for my experience or for my, for me personally, Matrix LOT is more than enough in my opinion because it will give you a very nice uh, result. And this is already, it's done. Uh, and I will show you this, of course, in the uh, yeah, uh, post calibration measurement. So we are done with this screen and we pressing the next button and now we have our measuring measuring the peak luminance because our custom HDR tone curve. So we just press pressing here and it's measuring uh, actually uh, the maximum peak and this is 711 candela, which I was, yeah, which is acceptable or which is to ex expect on this TV because this is, yeah, as we know, LGCX has around 700, 750 candela. In my case, it's 711, okay. So I'm not changing anything here in uh, terms of this. There is a lot of things what you can change actually, but I just leave it uh, a standard setting. So, and to be very honest, I haven't done so much experience or any uh, so much, uh, yeah, um, how should I say, um, testing here. Uh, I really don't know what to change to get a better picture or a worse picture, okay? That's why I'm leaving this on auto or factory settings. We just pressing tone map upload, tone map upload, and that's it. Now we 
closing our calibration or disabling our calibration and we're pressing next again and now we are we are in our post calibration verification and let's see what we have done okay and here we do exactly the same as we did in the beginning we are taking a serious reading and this time hopefully it's taking the right value yes it's around 700 700 candle or something like that and yeah all what we have to do now is waiting again okay so the post calibration verification is done and i'm actually very happy with the result so the only thing what i don't understand is we have now a maximum error from around 2.2 which compared to our real calibration the maximum error was 0.8 so this is always what i don't understand why the post measurement is always complete different or very different actually to um, yeah, the real calibration anyway we are pressing the next button and now we have our um, comparison screen which is very very handy and just again keep in mind this screen was already pre-calibrated that's why we don't have that much different okay the factory setting from the gaming hdr mode on the LG CX, on my LG CX is very, very bad. We have a delta error from almost seven, okay? Between the grayscale. It's not a good result. Um, here, actually, we can see a little bit of improvement, actually. Uh, here on the, on the top on the top is the pre-calibration and on the bottom is the post-calibration. And when we look a very closer on the, on the colors, we can actually see a little bit of improvement. Yellow is actually a little bit uh, worse, 1.3 delta error, 1.6 delta error in the uh, post-calibration and so on. But we can actually see a difference. And again, the color space was just done with uh, a very, very quick calibration okay you can choose different mo uh, modes which takes much longer and uh, you will uh, measure or Carmen is measuring a lot of more points doing the calibration but I haven't seen a big difference to be very honest it's just taking longer but it it is almost the same result okay but anyway try it give it a try put it in a comment what you think this is my recommended way to calibrate the LG ZX because I haven't seen or I haven't experienced any issue so far. Not with the latest Carmen 2021. I have to say it's really, really great. Um, not sure what the, what the problem was in the uh, pre-calibration with the uh, too low uh, maximum peak. When you remember what the, and then I press the uh, read series button again and it just worked. I have no idea what this was, but uh, Apart from this, it is really, really working. It's great working. No issues, no, no hiccups, no freezing picture, nothing, nothing. I really just can recommend Karma 2021. Okay, so that's for this video and I hope it was not too boring and I hope I did not forget anything very important. So in terms of settings, I am very sure I covered everything. The basic settings for sure to walk you through our HDR gaming calibration on our LG CX or also LG C1 or G1 or whatever. Um, but keep in mind, the Kalman software, of course, it's a very powerful software. There are many, many more options what we did, didn't cover today because uh, it would just extend this video cr like crazy, okay? Um, this was really just a very basic um, walkthrough to Kalman, how I doing is or how I'm, how I'm doing a calibration and I'm actually very, very happy with the result. Um, so if you have a different way, just put it in the comments uh, because I would love to learn. I would, I'm happy to get educated at any point, you know what I mean? Because I am yeah, just started with Carmen maybe a year ago and yeah, I'm still learning. I'm not sure if everything what I'm doing is right, okay? So put your comments in the comment section and if you're new to my channel, do me a big favor, subscribe to my channel. I would much appreciate it, okay? So again, thank you very much for watching me. I see you next time. Bye.